Pauline Kavaki had answered the call to help. An experienced nurse, she'd volunteered to spend five weeks treating Ebola patients in Sierra Leone. But within hours of returning home, she was diagnosed with the disease. Today, the specialist medical teams at this London hospital said she had deteriorated to a critical condition. Miss Kavki had flown out with the team from the charity Save the Children. Before she set off, she spoke to BBC Radio Scotland about her instinct to help. For me, it was kind of a natural thing. I couldn't think of any reason why not to go. I have experience in the past before. I've done aid work. I've worked in Africa. I didn't really think about it, actually. i just, just done it. The speed with which Pauline Kavaki has deteriorated is common with this unpredictable virus. She flew from Sierra Leone to Casablanca and arrived at London Heathrow on the 28th of December. She felt unwell and her temperature was taken seven times as part of the Ebola screening programme. But it wasn't unusually high and she flew on to Glasgow. The next day she was admitted to Gart Naval Hospital and diagnosed with the disease. On the 30th of December, Mrs Kavaki was flown to London to the specialist unit at the Royal Free Hospital. Medics there described her condition at the time. She is sitting up and talking. She's able to read. She's been eating a bit, drinking, and she's been in communication with her family, which has been really nice. Since then, medics have been treating Mrs Kafke with a combination of an unnamed experimental drug and blood plasma drawn from patients who survived the virus. Experience uh, with Ebola patients who've been treated with these things is patchy and, and very limited. We really don't know how well they're going to work. And we do know that in one or two cases they haven't worked as well as we would have liked. But better than nothing, I think, is the philosophy that's being adopted here. The coming hours will be crucial for the 39-year-old, whose family is being kept closely informed. Sangeeta Maiska, BBC News.